Hello, this is Bodrich. It's a new Vivaldi video. Um, in this video, we will uh, try to get rid of this title bar here. Uh, and we will do that by modifying the Vivaldi UI CSS. Because Vivaldi UI, it consists of, of uh, HTML, uh, some JavaScript and CSS, just like uh, normal web pages which makes it uh, quite easy to hack it and modify it. But, um, you know, this is a normal web page, our new tab page thing here. And normal web pages, you can inspect them, you know, and um, look at the elements, see what uh, classes and stuff is going on. And you can even write test new rules, changing the color to brown, brown, and there, now it's brown. All right, um, you can do things like that. But with the UI, we cannot right click that in any way here, or we, some of them we can right click, but we cannot inspect anything. But the thing is, it is actually possible to do so. All we have to do is enable a couple of uh, command line options, uh, which uh, more information about this can be found on this uh, forum thread here. Um, and I just want to show you a cool thing here. I copied that URL now into my uh, clipboard. And then uh, by default with this VB4C, we can now just press P and it will open any uh, URL that is in the clipboard. Uh, and this page tells us, if you read it a bit, that we need at least uh, one command line option but uh, both of these are recommended to use. Debug packed apps and silent debugger extension API. Um, and you can actually view the currently active um, command line options by opening one of these Vivaldi pages, you know, Vivaldi colon slash slash uh, version. This is another thing uh, that I want to uh, fix in this uh, video because right now it didn't open that Vivaldi page. It opened Google for some reason, or I know the reason. Just trying to be a bit dram dramatic here. Uh, because remember in our search options here, we have set uh, DuckDuckGo to be the default search engine. But now for, uh, when we search with VB4C here, uh, if we just enter text, it will by default use Google and this is because uh, if we open help colon help uh, it is because Google is set as the default um, default engine here so I want to modify a couple of these settings here and there's also another interesting setting here completion engines uh, here you can see there are four different completion engines set by default for some reason, Amazon is, is included there. But what the, they mean is that if I open this command bar and then I uh, type Google, Google, um, and then hit space. Now uh, this is like the active uh, completion engine. And then I can search here for Bud Labs, for example. And you can see it completes here uh, with uh, uh, yeah, Google Google uh, search uh, query terms, so to speak. We can also test here with uh, Wikipedia. Hit space and then search for Vivaldi. And, and then we get um, completions here. And I know I said just a video go, go or something that I was uh, kind of not, not a big fan of this, but it almost feels cool, you know, that you can use um, Wikipedia easy like this. Uh, and I think I like it. Uh, and I also investigated this a bit because there is actually a, quite a lot of built-in uh, engines uh, that, that can search like this. I think there is a list here somewhere uh, down in this document. You always find new things every time you open this and start reading it. Completion engines. Here is a full list of all uh, completion engines. There's a lot of Google services like Google and Google Maps and stuff, but you also got IMDB can be nice. Urban Dictionary is part of it and uh, 
Wolfram Alpha for, for, for those who, who use that, you know, movie DB. Um, so let's see if we can uh, do something with this. And also I would like a search engine, something working like a search engine, but, but for Vivaldi pages. Uh, hopefully this will get you some, some inspiration or ideas here. So here, here I copied those default search engines. Uh, this is the defaults. Uh, then I added like a some some nice engines here. Let's just copy them into our config here. We can do it like this. Uh, first, you can also define your own search engines. And here I define uh, two: one that's called Vivaldi and one that's called GitHub. You can define them either like this, but this one could also be defined uh, like this. You don't have to write them in brackets and stuff here, but there is a difference here. Um, if you just write the search URL, and I, I don't think I need to explain this, the percentage %s will be replaced with our search term. Um, if you just enter a search URL like this, then you can search here by typing Vivaldi and then a search term and then it should open a Vivaldi colon slash slash search term page. Uh, but when you enter it uh, like this inside brackets uh, with two, uh, uh, two URLs here, then this first one is like a standard URL. If you just type Vivaldi and press enter, then it will open this one. But if you uh, type Vivaldi space a word, it will use this one. So it's very useful to do this. Uh, but you can even uh, make this even more um, convenient by setting up search aliases. Uh, so here V is an alias for Vivaldi, so we have to write it like this. Uh, I also changed the default engine here to DuckDuckGo, so that will be used if we just start typing into the bar. And then I added a bunch of more completion engines and removed uh, um, and removed Amazon. So we save this. Remember, we have our uh, resourcing key binding here. Control Shift uh, R. I should be able to just do Control Shift R, and then I have to reload the page. I have also looked into how to combine this so it can reload the page automatically, but I haven't really found a way to do that. Now you can see we have a bunch of other stuff here. Um, yeah, I think I, if you do this, if you just follow this, I think I uh, did this now before starting to record. But if you open the bookmarks here, yeah, they're probably in this trash. I, I, I sent all the speed dial pages to the trash here because they are stored as bookmarks. And bookmarks are available in VB4C. They will also show up here. Uh, maybe it's possible to restore the bookmarks. Uh, can I just move it out of the trash? Rename. Move. Move to bookmark bar folder. Okay, there. Then I guess we have to reload again. Now if we open VB4C, then we will see that we have some of those this booking.com, for example, that comes from uh, uh, those bookmarks. So I remove them. They are like sponsored uh, content uh, from Vivaldi. So we don't want these, uh, or maybe you do want them, but I doubt that. Uh, and you can just delete them here from the bookmarks menu. But it can also be good to know that you can store bookmarks there and they will be available in uh, VB4C. But I don't use any bookmarks like that. But one thing that is not available is uh, are these search engines that you enter here. Um, and it's actually very easy to enter add search engines here. So it's a shame that we cannot access them from VB4C, but it's just, we have to use uh, this other method. But just to show you here, if we um, open um, D should, is an alias now for DuckDuckGo, and then we can search for Arch wiki cool select that 
Uh, if we open ArchWiki, ArchWiki have a search box here. Select that, uh, you can add a search engine from, from this uh, context menu. Uh, prompts up here, do you want to add it like this? Searching like this. Go, go, okay. And then uh, it's cool to give it a nickname, like AW for ArchWiki. Add, and now we can see we have that here. Uh, and that means we can now use this ArchWiki search engine, but, but we can only, only use it here in the default uh, default bar here. So when I type AW and space, we can see the even the icon changes to, to the Arc symbol, and we can search for Dunst, for example, and then it should automatically search there for Dunst. But sadly, this doesn't work with this guy. We don't have any aw command here. At least I don't think so. Maybe it just works now. Um, D menu. No, it just goes to DuckDuckGo and search for aw D menu. So maybe we should add Arc uh, Wiki also. But this can be good to, to do to add search engines here because then you also get uh, the correct uh, search URL, you know, and you can test them here first and blah blah blah. Copy that guy. Then we can add him like here. That's the search. And then we can set the default page as well here. That. Call him. Arch wiki, make an alias, arch wiki, aw, and I highly recommend setting up these search engines, it's something that you use all the time and it saves you a lot of time, and it's not that, uh, doesn't take that much time to, to set it up, you know. Going back here. Control Shift R F5 Open AW Dunst. But here, uh, th this doesn't have a completion engine uh, because these completion engines they are uh, built into the VB4C. I, I took a quick peek into the search. What I did was uh, searching for Urban Dictionary. I thought it cannot be uh, that common in, in the source code here. So just search for urban dictionary in this directory we can find here complete.js um, they look something like this so so it needs um, some javascript code here to decode uh, this stuff uh, so, so we cannot just add our own um, search engines with completion into the config as it is now but i think the the ones that are available here are 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 great and you could uh, add your own and then, then install the extension blah 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 but I haven't really dabbled with this and, and it's a, a bit beyond my my uh, uh, scope and especially this video tutorial scope but now we should also have um, though this, this uh, Vivaldi search engine because this is good to know that it doesn't have to be like a search uh, this will just append our search term to this URL Vivaldi colon slash slash uh, so that means we can now do O uh, V version. And there, it brings up the built in page. And of course, here, when we are here, we cannot open uh, VB4C because it's a built in page. And also, let's just test it. If we just press V, it will open the default. Um, no, that didn't work, of course. Uh, maybe we bugged it. Uh, maybe it doesn't work with aliases. I, I, I'm not sure. But then it opens the default default page here, which, just as a side note, is actually Chrome URLs and not Vivaldi URLs. For some reason, Vivaldi URLs it, it didn't work, but Chrome URLs works and it brings you to the same page. It's somehow zoom linked uh, internally or something. Whatever. Um. Yeah, and we wanted to see the, the command line options. That was the whole thing here we were doing. So sorry for this little sidetrack here, but I think it's uh, interesting and I, I will try to take like uh, a thing here and there for from VB4C and show them in context uh, because there are so much things you can do really. But here are the command line options. 
Currently, those options we needed aren't included. Uh, it means we have to start add those command line options to the command line when we execute uh, Vivaldi. I have written the command lines uh, down here somewhere. Here they are. We we'll add these also to the sh uh, show notes, and all we need to do is uh, add them to the command here. But the, here is also a special thing about um, i3 run. I3 run uh, has this uh, option command which takes a single argument so we cannot just add the options like this we have to add the whole command here as a single word so we can actually put it in single quotes here since it's no uh, extension or there's no variables or spaces um, inside the options or whatever this will work fine save that uh, and then we can exit Vivaldi and then we start reload i3 and then we um, open Vivaldi now we can see the command is a bit longer here doesn't uh, nothing looks different but now check this out now we can right click and select inspect here on the UI itself and it has a uh, has its own dev tools here you can even have both uh, a web page dev tools open and this uh, internal UI dev tools and they look a bit different. I, I'm not sure how it works here, but it works and that's uh, the important thing and we wanted to hide the title bar. So let's try to find the title bar. It's here header. That is the title bar div ID header. Um, so what we can do here, we can just create uh, our own rule. We don't have to write it like this. We can just write sharp header will uh, target all uh, elements with the id header and then test here display colon none and there it disappeared like magic and we can toggle our custom rule here the problem though is of course that uh, even if we set the rule here let's do this also let's copy it and usually when i do this in in the dev tools i select text and then i right click and select copy because sometimes this control c doesn't work here i, I i'm not sure why uh, and it's really annoying sometimes you close the window and are going to paste and then you have to open and redo everything so i take that extra precaution and right click select maybe it's just me who's uh, paranoid whatever but if we exit uh, vivaldi here now open it again we will see that the header bar is uh, back because uh, the changes you do to the dev tools are not persistent and that's why we have this uh, css directory here uh, here it is where the, we set the font size we could add it here well now it didn't <laughs> keep the keep it anyways uh, but i remember header display colon none so we can add it here it will work uh, fine open vivaldi no header bar but i actually prefer to add this uh, to a separate file because we will probably maybe uh, hide more elements and and it also doesn't clutter up these custom css files uh, and it really doesn't impact um, performance uh, in any way by adding a couple of independent uh, files so i like to make one that i call hide stuff dot css but it's important of course that it is in the same directory here because then if we want to hide something else we can just uh, try header more if there was an id like that and then it would hide both this element and this because we separate them with a comma like this and it makes it easy to just yeah, hide more stuff. But right now we just hide the header and I think uh, we can be happy with that. And it also works for the settings. Maybe you haven't, it's hard to imagine now, but there was actually a, a similar title bar here for the settings window and it have the same identifier ID header. Uh, and I guess it's also true for the dev tools itself themselves, you know, nothing has a he header now. We save a lot of space feels good feels good so yeah um, not sure what we will look at in the next video mm, 
but I feel I, I really want to fix this status bar thing and I have decided also that we will do the, the hack that I did even if it breaks full screen uh, uh, things. It can just be interesting to see. I just uh, want to demonstrate how JavaScript injection works as well because it's a bit different. Um, so maybe we do that in the next video. Just would like to close here with uh, really recommending these um, Vivaldi modifications uh, forums, you know. You can you can learn a lot about how, how all of this works uh, by reading uh, uh, the guides. The stickies are great and uh, the, the forums are actually very active. There are several posts uh, every day at least. Um, 36 pages long here. Just the, And this is just the modification uh, section of Vivaldi. And, and the, it's really fun to mess around with these uh, uh, things and, and it feels like you really are in control of uh, the look and feel of the browser and I think that's uh, one, one of the main reasons I like Vivaldi so much. Um, Alright, have a great day everybody, bye.